right now, let's go over to John with our final report on our long-term Oldsmobile silhouette. Thanks, Mike. And you're right, or should I say, unfortunately, you're right. This is our last report on the Oldsmobile silhouette. Those of you who saw the Altus Awards will know that this is also the vehicle that we picked for the best minivan. We've grown to really like and utilize the silhouette over the course of the year. Whether it be for taking the family to the school, on an outing, going to the grocery store, picking up things from the feed store or the antique store, it's become a very valued member of our team. We've grown very attached to the old silhouette as it's performed well for us and given us great fuel economy. In fact, we've averaged 23.7 miles per gallon over the course of the entire year that we've had it, and that's some 23,000 miles. However, as this is a wrap-up report, let's talk about some of the things that we've grown to like and things we'd like to see improvements on on the Oldsmobile silhouette. Let's start with the seating. First off, the leather seating has grown more comfortable as time has gone on. Though we very much like the front and mid bucket seats along with the rear bench seat, this sometimes compromised how many people we took with us on a trip. There were sliding side doors on both sides of the vehicle, the one on the passenger side being power operated. In combination with the rear lift gate, it gave great access to virtually every portion of the Oldsmobile. The rear cargo net was a great boost for carrying groceries. It kept those things from sliding all around the rear cargo area, particularly smaller packages. Once again, the onboard entertainment center was not only a big plus for the family so that they could watch movies while you were driving and eliminate that ever popular, are we there yet phrase, but also came in quite handy to us as we were filming and we utilized it constantly while reviewing tapes out in the field. The front dash and instrument panel were generally well laid out. The radio was a good quality, sound was good from it, however radio reception was little on the weak side. We believe due in part to the built-in windshield antenna system. This system also put a coating on the windscreen that may in some instances block the transmission of radio devices such as garage door openers or toll road passes. One of the other features that was nice on the Oldsmobile was the load leveling system. Now it came with a built-in air compressor, and I can tell you that at least once it allowed us to put air in a tire and return to a service area to get that tire repaired before it went completely flat. But I have to say that one of the nicest things about the Oldsmobile, and I keep coming back to this, was the engine and the performance. It wasn't one of those stellar performing engines. It didn't have overwhelming power, it didn't have overwhelming torque, but at the same time it never left you wanting for more. You always felt like you had plenty of power to merge onto the freeway. You had plenty of power to go up that hill. You had plenty of power to load the van up with anything that you wanted to take with you, be that people or cargo, and get where you were going. It again delivered great fuel economy. Easily the best fuel economy we received out of any minivan that we tested during the course of the year. Now are the things that we'd like to see improved on the Oldsmobile? Well, yeah, but they're pretty minor. One of the things I already mentioned, better radio reception. Another would have been better headlights. We were expecting better performance from the headlights considering how good General Motors headlights typically are. The other thing we would have liked to have seen is that the DRLs or the daytime running lights work off of the headlight system and not off the turn signal systems. We'd also like to see the addition of power side windows on the sliding doors. This sounds like a small thing until you're in the front seat and trying to open up one of those sliding door windows. There's power windows on the rear, power windows on the front, and we'd like to see power windows on the side. Now Mike and I did get a chance to try out one of the 2001 silhouettes. And I gotta tell you there's a couple things that they've already improved up, some things we didn't even think of. The front seats, as comfortable as they were in the 2000, are even more comfortable and heated in the 2001. There's a backup sensor system on a 2001, an OnStar system, dual zone climate controls, it's got a larger video screen, the kids will like that, and the headphones for that video system are now wireless. There's a new front end that improved the fog lights, and it also has some wood trim interior accents. Other than that, it's still the great fan that we voted the best minivan of the year on last year's Altus Award.
Mike, you know how much I look forward to new vehicles, but I gotta tell you, I'm gonna miss this Oldsmobile silhouette. Thank you.